Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Sylvia. Hello. This is Mary. I'm a student nurse from CVTC, and I'm here to give you your morning eye drops today. Okay. How, how are you today? Good. Good. My eyes are feeling a little dry, so I'm glad oh, you got my drops. Oh, good. Yeah, it's really dry mm -hmm. in here today. So yes, I will be administering your eye drops. And first, before we get started, I just need to check your uh, wristband there. And if you could please give me your full name and date of birth, that would be awesome. Sylvia Vasquez, 13066. Okay, 66. Mm -hmm. Okay, 19. 1966. Very good. All right. And do you have any allergies that I need to be aware of, Sylvia? No. Okay, good, because that checks out with my chart as well. All right, so the eye drops that we're going to be giving you this morning are your Sustain eye drops. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you know those are for dry eyes, correct? Yes. Okay, very good. Um, do you administer your own eye drops at I home? I do at home. Okay, you know, some good. Sometimes I miss, but yeah. You know, All right. Close. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have already done my um, checks on this to make sure that it's the right medication, it's the right dose, it's the right route, and also um, we're going to give it to you in your eyes. Okay? okay. All right. So we did our medication checks and we're ready to roll. Um, if I were in a place where that we would use scanning for our uh, medication check. My third medication check would include um, scanning the patient's wristband and then scanning the medication and doing our last check at that point. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to do a quick look here to make sure that we're doing the right one here. Okay. Very good. All right. And as I enter the room, I'm always checking to make sure that everything looks safe. And if she has any tubes or anything, then I'm making sure that they're connected properly. Okay, um, first I'm gonna assess the eyes and I'm gonna be looking at them. I'm gonna look for any redness, which, which Sylvia does have some redness of her um, conjunctiva. And I'm also gonna be looking for some drainage. And I'm gonna ask her, do you have any pain in your eyes right now? No, just allergies, a lot of itching. Okay, all right, very good. And there's no drainage, so we're gonna go ahead and no. begin. So um, the order was to give them in both eyes, so the right and the left. So we'll begin with the left eye and then I'll go to the right eye. Okay. okay. All right. So as I'm giving this, uh, Sylvia, I just want you to look up straight. Very good. And as I'm opening this, you can kind of zoom in. I want to make sure that I keep the cap sterile. I don't want to be touching that on anything while I'm administering this. And it's always good to have a tissue. Um, I can certainly even give the tissue to the patient as I'm administering, and if she's able, she can go ahead and dab. Um, I'm gonna put rest one hand on the forehead right above the eye. I'm gonna take my other hand that I'm administrating with, and I'm gonna drop it right in the middle of the um, conjunctiva there, or conjunctival sac. Good. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next eye. Again, I'm gonna rest my non-dominant hand there. I'm gonna pull her lid down with my dominant hand and I'm gonna drop it right in the conjunctival sac. Good. So you wanna get it in the conjunctival sac versus the inner canthus because the inner canthus is not where you want it because it can get more systemic in the circulation. Okay, and so after you're done, you wanna assess Sylvia's eyes again. Ask her, does everything feel okay? Yeah, feels good. All right, very good. She's not complaining of any um, terrible pain or anything like that or tearing. So she looks really good. Okay, great. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove my gloves. Do you have any questions for me, Sylvia? Or no. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and step out. And if you do have any problems with the eye medication after I leave, such as excessive burning you know, or tearing, just please ring your call bell and um, I will go ahead and come in and check on you, okay? okay. All right, um, and no other further questions? Okay, good. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab your call light here just to make sure that you have it. All right. Okay, we're going to put that right over here in case you need me. And I'm going to make sure that her bed is lowered all the way. Good. And we're also going to make sure that it is locked, which it is in the locked position. And both of her upper side rails are up um, for safety. Okay, so we will be back. I will be back to check on you in, in about an hour, but if you need me sooner, just let me know. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, Sylvia. We'll see you in a little bit. All right.